what what we need to meet. And speaking of that, um, Ram Das in your book said, the minute you look at a fearful thought that you've run from, it changes. I love that. It's true. It's I worked <laughs> I worked with Ram Das on on a book about aging after he had his stroke, and he was dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of uncertainty. This is someone who had spent half a century as this guru to the masses and a caregiver to the world. And suddenly he couldn't go to the bathroom by himself or, fascinating. Or, make, yeah. or, or feed himself. And he went through a lot of fear, a lot of resistance, a lot of, of, of difficulty. And he realized that this, these fears were being blown up, blown out of proportion by his mind. And that if he could sit down with the fear, he said, like, I sit down and I invite them to tea. You know, instead of them being this enormous demon monster, if they, he called them a little schmoo, you know, this little schmooze. You say, come here, just sit down and let's have a cup of tea and, and, and talk about this. All of a sudden, it's not, they're not as, as overwhelming. And that's my experience with fear. You know, fear, fear uh, flourishes and multiplies through pushing it away yeah. uh, and keeping it kind of vague. That's where fear proliferates. But when you get really clear about it, uh, most fears are, are, are far more approachable and manageable than we, than we believe when we're, when we're trying to keep them at, at arm's length. But first, we have to be honest with ourselves about what, what the nature of our fear is. And that's another thing I do with students all the time who, who, are, who are talking about being bound by fear is get specific. What are you afraid of specifically? And very often, it's not what we think. It's, it's, it's not the, for example, the disease that we're afraid of as much as losing the losing our, our, our loved ones or people, you know, people are not having, uh, not being able to, you know, do things we've done in the past, whatever, when you get clear about what the fears are, then you can find ways of adapting creatively. But if you think that the problem is the, is the, for example, a diagnosis, if you think that's the thing that you're most afraid of. Uh, then you're going to be victimized by it. Then you're going to be kind of held in, in, in uh, paralyzed mm -hmm. by this overwhelming thing. You break it down and it becomes a lot more manageable. And that's what yeah. Ramdas did. He, he learned to, to deal with this, this, and he lived for another 18 years that yeah. way. Rachel Remen, who you were just talking about, she's the one who was talking, you, who you just quoted um she's the one i was saying she was told at 18 when she was diagnosed with crohn's disease that she would be dead by the time she was 30. meanwhile she just turned 82 and she's the one who when she stands up and she's on her own legs it's a good day yeah so it's really about getting past the stories that we're told about about how you know how bad things are how how hopeless and just being with our, our real experience.